Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video in the Excel automation series. Let's see our agenda for today. Today we are going to discuss about how do we create pivots in Excel with the help of UiPath Studio. Post that we are going to see how we can refresh the pivots which are already created in Excel with the help of UiPath Studio. And we are going to see a demonstration for both of this in the studio. To start with the pivot table, let's see a set of data which I already have in an Excel which I called simple excel.xlx and I have a data which is available in sheet 2. So if you'll see I have the data related to segment, country, product and discount bank and let's see I want to create a pivot here. So when I say pivot, I, we just want to have a summarized view of the data. So how we can do that in Excel. So first we just go here and select the data. Next we go to insert and pivot table. So this is the wizard which is provided by Excel which specifies us that what is the table or what is the range I want to create a pivot for. So the range it has automatically selected because I have selected the data so the range is automatically populated here. Next step where exactly I want to create the pivot. So I, let's say I want to create the pivot in this worksheet. So what would be the location? Let's say I, we want to create the pivot something here right. So what is the cell number? J1 and hit OK. Okay, so as you will see a pivot is already created for us with no filters right with none of the uh, filters or the columns rows values is applied here so this is how we create a filter with the specific data now to further proceed what we can do is we can just select like this and we can customize the pivot so this was one way of creating the pivot so the next way of creating the pivot is I'll just control Z everything okay so the next way is we have to just select the data convert it to a table and then we can do the pivot table so to convert the table we can just go here and hit ctrl t so that is the shortcut so where is the data this is my data and my table has headers okay now if you will see at the top uh, design menu is activated for me it says the header row is available so the color formatting has changed in the form of rows and this is the table name so just to remember so just to remember i will just rename the table to something I can remember let's say table 1 okay next I can always go ahead here like this again insert pivot table now instead of the range we have the table now in the existing worksheet and I want to create it in J1 hit OK and again the same pivot is created with none of the filters applied so let's see how we can do the same task with the help of the UiPath Studio to start with let's come to your path studio first thing first we take an excel application scope and point it to the excel so i have kept an excel at the project directory i go to excel and this is my excel sample excel file dot xlx let's go back to the project folder and see exactly what is the data we have data in sheet 2 the data is converted to a table called table 1 and the sheet is sheet 2 let's go back to the excel sheet and now the objective here is to create a pivot table so to create a pivot we can go to the activity and type here create pivots create pivot table so this is the activity we drag and drop it here so let's see the properties for the create pivot table so let's talk about the input first so as an input it require two things first thing is the sheet name so the sheet name for us is sheet 2 next thing it requires the source table name so if you will see when we were creating the pivots in excel we were have two options so if i just go back here just try to create a pivot insert and then pivots so if you will see we have two options here what what one is we can provide a table and other we can provide a range but in case of UiPath Studio we only have the option to provide the source table name so whenever we have to create a pivot with the help of the UiPath Studio we the respective data has to be converted to a table so for us we can go here again and the table is table 1 so I just copy this guy table 1 source table name would be now table 1 let's talk about the destination now so in the destination we have something called range so the range specify where exactly we want to create the pivot table so let's say i want to create the pivot table something here so this is k1 so now the range would be k1 and the last option is what is the table name which i want to create and this expects a string variable so what is the pivot table name i want to create so let's say i want to name it as pivot for pivot data 
okay so these are the four properties which uh, create pivot table expects uh, let's just recap so we want to create a pivot in sheet 2 so the source table name would be table 1 i want to create the pivot with the name as pivot data and the range where i want to create the pivot is k1 and all of these four parameters can be always configured to work with variables and arguments okay let's go here and put a right line let's put a debugger here let's go to excel application scope in the properties okay so we want to see what is happening in the execution so the visible property is enabled okay let's go ahead and debug the file okay so it has successfully executed this activity let's go back to the excel and you will see we have created a pivot so if i click on this one so this pivot is created in the location which we have specified and it has created the data so if i go here and go to the pivot table options so you will see this is the name of the pivot which we have given in the uipath studio pivot data furthermore i can always go to show field list and we can apply drag and drop the filter columns as per our need so this is how the create pivot table works in uipath studio now let's go back to our excel sheet so if you will see we have already a pivot which we have created just now and if i just select this drop down so we have all the countries so let's say now i add one more country here i'll just copy okay so i'll do what i'll do i'll just update the france with the country india so now we have a new data which is available in the country field and if i go here so india is not available right so for that what we have to do is we have to click here and refresh the pivots now again if i go here you will see the india is available in the list so how do we accomplish the same with the help of uipath studio whenever there is a new data so basically what we want to do is we want to refresh the data of the existing pivots we go back to uipath studio okay so we already have an activity which we just saw create pivot table we'll just delete that one and now we have to refresh the pivots right to refresh the pivot we have an activity which we call refresh pivot table okay so now if you'll see the properties if i go here properties it has only two properties what is the sheet name and what is the table name so when i say table name so this is the name of the pivot table so let's go back to the excel so the sheet is sheet 2 i go here i update this to sheet 2 and to get the name of the pivots we can always click here pivot table option and pivot data is the name of the pivot okay so we go here and in the double quotes we specify pivot data similar logic the both the sheet name and the pivot table name can be accommodated with the use of variables and arguments here also okay so let's go back so now if i go here and select the countries i can see china is not available so let's just change the data from india to let's say china and i'll just save this so if i again go here i cannot see china and i see india here right so now if i go back to the apart studio and i debug the file okay so this activity has successfully executed and the debugger is now on this right line let's go back to the excel select the drop down and you will see china is available so this is how the refresh pivots work in uipath studio to know more about create pivot table and refresh pivot table we can always come to docs.uipath.com and read the official documentation provided by uipath we are also provided with an example which we can download and refer both of these links i will provide in the description and that is all for this video thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation